Uh, so here we are preaching a, a Madonna a concert here in Portland, Oregon. Uh, Madonna came down here probably about 25 years ago when uh, she first came out uh, in support of feminism and uh, made a, a real, what she thought was a solid stance against Christianity and uh, super wicked and whorish, uh, sluttish behavior. She's always done that on any type of te uh, television, MTV awards or whatever it is. Uh, she's mocked the church during this tour. She wears a uh, uh, crown of thorns around her head. She puts herself up on the cross. She makes a mockery of uh, who Jesus Christ is. And so we felt like as uh, Bible-believing, you know, born-again Christians, it's our job to come out here and talk about the real Jesus Christ of the Bible. Amen. Well, there's no question about it. If you're here today to see Madonna, you're a heathen, on your way to hellfire. Well, praise God, some street preachers came out here to tell you to repent. You now that's the mercy of God being shown on your life, that he's gonna warn you before you die and meet him. He is holy, he is to be feared, he is to be worshiped. You people would rather worship the creation what did Madonna ever do for you? What could she ever do for you? That washed up slut is overrated. She's a grandma. Her days are numbered, let me tell you. Her days are numbered. God's going to require her soul. And she will be held accountable for her perversion. Now how many teenage girls has she perverted over the years? How many? Some of you are a product of her perverted doctrine that she preaches on that stage. Grinding those demonic creatures in her granny panties. Shame on you, you wicked heathens. You see, you're all appointed to die once and then you will stand before a holy God to be judged. That's right, that word you sinners don't like. Judgment. Well, we're going to give you a little judgment here tonight to hopefully wake you up out of your stupor. Maybe you're just willfully, willfully stupid tonight. That you really want to go to hell? That's right where you're going right now. You're condemned already. Don't say, you can, oh, you're coming out here to condemn us. Don't say that garbage. You're condemned already. You see, Jesus Christ, he offers you eternal life through the blood that he shed on the cross. But you treat that blood as a common thing. No care in the world for his sacrifice. You know, God, he cared enough that he sent you a savior. That was his love. His love towards his creation was shown through the face of Jesus Christ on the cross. Apart from that, the only thing left for you is wrath. You don't want grace. You want wrath. It's evident by your lifestyle. You don't need to, to, to ask any therapist. You don't need to go and even talk to a pastor. You know you are guilty before God. That's why you need all those drugs. That's why you love your alcohol. Kind of numbs your conscience. That's right. The conscience God gave you, the Holy Spirit convicting every man of sin, making every man a liar. You're not going to convince God you're a good person. He thinks you're terrible, wicked. And your rebel heart does not impress God at all. You do not impress God. He's not looking down with this furious love upon you. He is angry with the wicked every single day. That means that every day that you wake up, you do something to anger a holy God. Every single day. It's not that lie you told when you were a little kid. It's every day you waking up and doing something, uh, if not everything, in your daily walk uh, that offends God. Your lifestyle is offensive to God. 
Let's get that straight. Your, your whole life is offensive to God. It's time to get right with God. You are not promised tomorrow. Now I know you make big plans. Oh, you're going to do this summer or next summer. Your five-year plan, your ten-year plan. Scrap it. Throw the trash. Because God has other plans when He requires your soul from you. That's right. You'll stand before God to give an account for every thought, every word, and every deed. Just like that whore you came here to see tonight, you will be judged for your whorish behavior, for affirming the fags that march through these streets. That's right, you're going to be held accountable. You, know, you don't have to be a horn or a fag, but if you are okay with them, you are going to be held accountable yourself for that affirmation of it. You're wrong! And that's what I'm out here to do, to preach to you the unadulterated Word of God that has the power unto God to save you. The truth, it's what you need. You don't want it, but we're going to give it to you. The Bible says today is the day of salvation. Amen. How long are you going to reject God's hand of mercy? He's reaching out to you and you slap it away. Oh no, God, I want my marijuana. No, God, I'm not done fornicating. No, God, uh, I've got homo friends. You keep slapping that hand away. The Bible says to seek the Lord while he may be found. Draw near unto him while he is near. Yeah, there's going to come a day when you will cry out to God and it will be in vain. I don't get it. Every single time somebody tries to promote something perverted, who shows up? The lesbians! The homos! What is this? A pervert convention? You perverts got more in common with this poor, disgusting, old hag than you do God! I mean, come on! Nicki Minaj! She is a loose Disgusting slut! I know that. There's no other way to say How do you know she's that? a slut! And you shouldn't have a problem with the term slut! Most of you can call you women can relate to acting and looking like a slut! Now don't be offended! B-I-T-C-H, I'm Madonna. For heaven's sake, when you make a blatant statement like that, what do you expect to come out of something that's filled with that much anger and hatred towards a good-looking guy like me? You're going to get a hellfire and damnation street preacher to come out and condemn your wicked perversion. Come on! If this blatant garbage, what other response are you going to get? God loves you? Look at the shirts inside you're going to pay money for. Absolutely! <laughs> The Bible says to avoid the very appearance of evil. Amen. But most of you perverts, all you think about is your vagina and your penis. <laughs> so of course you're going to pay 75 bucks or 150 bucks to see some old disgusting slut who hates God. Oh, come on. Don't tell me she's not reaching. She's got a crown of thorns on her head and she makes a mockery of Jesus Christ. about this 
And I hope, I pray, that you take that judgment and repent and get right with God. You're not promised tomorrow. Amen. Stop acting like God is okay with your perverted, wicked lifestyle. Stop acting like you can be a whole lot of Christian. Can't happen. Stop acting like you can be a slut and still be a Christian. Take that cross off, hooker. Why are you shaking your head at me? I'm just telling you the truth. Have I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Well, it's a good thing there's no stones around. You stoned me right now. You're the same crowd that stoned the apostles. They strung them up. Uh, Jesus doesn't like your mouth. Not, he doesn't like your mouth. There could be ladies around here somewhere. Watch your mouth, you heathens. Watch your mouth. That's why you don't have a man. That's why. That's why you can't keep a man with your mouth. Men don't want a woman with that foul, rebellious mouth. Uh, and these men that are here are real men. And they're excluded. You're a heathen. Continue on. The path of hell is wide open. Continue on, slut. That's right. You don't like truth. Oh, you call each other sluts and hoes and bimbos. What the street preacher uses those terms in truth to get you to acknowledge the, the, the error of your way and you get offended. You don't know Jesus. You don't know him. Shame on you even trying to talk to a preacher about Jesus. Shame on you. You're headed to hellfire. That's what's waiting for you, buddy. That's what's waiting for you. Unless you walk away from here right now. Shame on you. I bet you wish you never opened your mouth. You little coward. Maybe you'll actually learn one day. Maybe you'll learn the whole thing. I already learned. I was born again this way. Why can't you people accept me? It's time for you to become normal like us. It's time for you to become saints and not sinners. Jesus is a friend of saints, not sinners. He's not a friend to you. You're not friends with God. Right, hurry up, finish your cigarette. You're going to be smoking in hell. You just want to meet God a little sooner. That's what it is, right? You heard all this talk about God. You're like, I want to meet Him. I want to know this God. That's the wrong way. Go and repent. Read your Bible. Get a relationship going with God that involves you and Him, Amen. not you and the world. Amen. He wasn't joking. He wasn't lying. He wasn't playing around when he said, most people will be going to hell. He said, straight and narrow is the way. Emphasis on the straight part. Straight and narrow. You people of the broad path. Where you can continue being a vile, disgusting pervert and then have people tell you God loves you that it's going to be okay or to burst your bubble it's not okay and shame on me if I ever told you that it's going to be okay for you the Bible says to work out your salvation with fear and trembling because it is a terrifying thing to fall into the hands of a living God. The living God who is angry at the wicked every single day. No need to ask why God's angry with you. No need to question why you're under his wrath. You know you're not right with God. You know you do everything in opposition to his word. The only part of the Bible you want or know is Matthew.
Matthew 7 1. Judge not lest ye be judged. You don't care about the rest of the chapter Are you that tells you, Are you a girl to or judge a righteous judgment. Female or female? I was commanded to come out here and judge a uh, righteous that's judgment. That's kind of personal. John that's 7, not loving. 28. Judge not by appearance, but judge a righteous judgment. I got married. So when I got a couple of fags, a couple of muck divers in front of me, making out with their disgusting lifestyle, it's a righteous judgment. Watch your mouth, there might be women out here. Wicked, wicked. You know, the people in the front of the line were a lot, take your STD ridden corpse away from me. I don't want your STDs. Go away, whore. Go away. You don't know Jesus. Go brush your hair, go home, pick up a Bible, and repent. Okay? No, don't touch. We got boundaries. No, no, this is not what you need. You don't need hugs. You don't need uh, uh, soft words, buttery words, and some, that's that's all you have. You don't know God. Where's that verse? Where's that verse? Where's the verse? No, no, I, I'm not dude. I'm Saint Allen. Do you want to hug Saint Allen? No, I don't want. A hug. You might have been masturbating earlier. And what am I want? Wait, you don't gotta prove to me how wicked you are. I don't wanna hear about your fantasies that involve other men. I don't wanna hear it. John, this is on peace back off. That's right, we're not here for your entertainment. We're not paid like your homo affirming preacher. We're out here because we love God. We fear God and we obey His commandments. Amen. Jesus said, if you love me, you will obey my commandments. That's the proof that you love Jesus. You call it whatever you want. It's preaching the gospel. It's very biblical. Hurry up, there's heathens going to hell. Oh, you're, if you're here, first let me stop you. If you're here to watch Madonna, you're not a Christian. I hope this isn't your homosexual pervert lover. Oh, there's that There you go. There's that fur of modern Christianity. That's right. Her demons just manifested when the truth was presented before her. So your demons don't like the truth. They want to keep you blinded in your sin. That's why they hate it when the true word of God comes out here. The pure, unadulterated word. You see, salt and light is before you. Not honey, not sugar, not spice. And everything nice. What? What? If you don't touch, you look like you're really. Yeah, I hope not. Okay, go ahead and ask your question. Yeah, no, I can't turn you off. You're already condemned on your way to hell. I can't push you any further away than you already are to God. You're God haters. <laughs> well, is a turning away from your sin. It is fear of God. Amen. God said, I will put my fear in you that you will depart from evil. You need to fear God. Jesus Christ told you to. You don't have to believe us. Jesus himself said, don't fear man. Go repent, old man. Fear God. Go repent. Fear the one who can throw a bunch of wicked person. Go watch a half naked woman. Go soul. Go, go, go. You're on the way to hell. A spiritual fraud is away. Judges all things. You're just like a whore. You can't judge. Put some clothes on. That's right. I call it like I see it. Act like a whore. Just like a whore. Must be a whore. Quack like a duck. Must be a duck, right? And there is plenty of horns here today. Why not? You're here to give your worship and your adoration to one of the biggest horns who ever lived. Madonna is with 
nothing but a washed up slut. And her music sucks. But I'm going to make a modification. Like a sinner getting judged for the very first time. Yeah, I used to be a heathen, believe it or not. Hey, God showed me where I was going, where I was headed. Hell, fire. You know what? I had some fear. I had a little fear, a lot of fear, because God revealed to me that he was going to kill me and throw me into hell because I was defying him. A God who created the heavens and the earth. How will you stand before him and shake your fist? How will you tell God what to do? You're not going to tell God who he is. Your cross means nothing. No, you're not. You're miserable. You're wretched. You're poor, blind, and naked. You have nothing. Now, I know that you must say we're a bunch of pricks. Yeah, we do. We want to be a prick to your house. Yeah. Yeah. It needs it. Some of you in the consciences have been seared by the, the amount of evil that you have partake partaken in. You watch pornography every day, and God only knows what kind of pornography. I know bestiality is very popular amongst the homosexuals. Yeah.